Well, welcome guys, it's Warnick Revolution here, back at you with another nickel hunting video. And we've got 12 rolls to look through here, and I found two enders. Um, so that's pretty cool. We got some older looking nickels on the ends of these rolls right away. So that's really awesome. I'll probably open these last um, to see what those are. But um, without further ado, let's jump right into this hunt and see what we can find nickel wise. Um, I guess a refresher of what we're looking for. We're looking for 50s nickels, 40s nickels, 30s nickels, buffaloes, V nickels, shield nickels, war nickels, low midget Jeffersons, key date Jefferson nickels, low midget buffaloes, blank planchets, proofs, forens, and 2009s, as well as some older Canadians, 1965 to 1981, and even older than that, 1953 to 1964. Uh, I've never found. Um, this old of the nickel, King George V, so maybe maybe we'll find one of those today, but who knows. It's really a gamble. Anyways, let's uh, get started and see what we can find in these nickel rolls. Well, number two, guys, it looks like we might have found something old. A 19, or not a 19 anything. Uh, just an older looking model shell with a D-mit mark. Let's see what it is in 3, 2, 1. 1940 Denver. Definitely looked old, so I'm glad it's a 1940. That's awesome. Let's uh, continue and see what else we can find. 10 rolls and the only thing we found was that 1940 Denver right here. Um, unfortunately, this does happen where you don't find anything in like 10 rolls. So, but it looks like we do have some older things in these rolls because of these enders. But uh, we will see. Hopefully they're not 64s. But they don't look like they are. I don't know. It's hard to determine, but I'm just going to open these live. Uh, if I can open it. There we go. As I knock that one over. But let's just see what this is. It's got a Denver mint mark. Let's flip it in 3, 2, 1, see what it is. Oh, it's a 64. <laughs> it didn't look like a 64. It looked like it was definitely going to be older. Uh, let's just peruse through this roll real quick. See if we see anything. No 2009s or anything like that. Anything interesting um, in those 10 rolls. Or I would have shown you guys if I, if I found a 2009. Which I haven't found in quite a bit of time. So that's kind of odd. Not really seeing anything in that roll. Let's see. Hopefully this is old, this one. But we didn't get anything in that one, so. Alrighty. Yeah, that definitely looks old. The um, finish, I guess, on it, it's kind of like streaked. Kind of looks like it's 40s. But we will find out what it is in three, two, one. 1946. <laughs> Good guess, I guess, with the 40s kind of toning. It's like, it's weirdly tan, and it's like streaked with, I don't know. <laughs> it's just streaked with something. Age. <laughs> streaked with age. Anyways, 46 Philly. That's a good find. Let's see if there's anything else in this roll. Anything interesting? Anything old? I kind of want to say, you know, you win some, you lose some on this. But that's just the name of the gang. The name of the game, not the gang. Uh, with nickels. With any coins in general, you never know what you're going to find. You could find a lot of good stuff. You could find absolutely nothing. But uh, we did find this 46 Philly and this 1940 Denver. So that's really good. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. I definitely did. And like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below your thoughts. See you guys next time. Peace.